Hey everybody, I'm Naomi Norris. I am a professional makeup artist and um, I just wanted to show you a really quick trip, trip, trick today um, for concealer and where you place that for aging mature skin. So unfortunately what they consider mature skin is anything over the age of 35, which puts me in that category and I am definitely starting to notice a lot more wrinkles around my eyes and stuff so I just wanted to show you like stop caking concealer under your eyes if you have more mature skin because that's just gonna enhance that texture and all those little fine lines and wrinkles under the eyes and so this is how you should be placing your concealer I have two different methods to show you so I'll just do one on each eye I have all of the rest of my face makeup on except for around my eyes and you can kind of see some of the discoloration under my eye. It's a little bit darker. There's some blue in here, a little bit of purple. And then out here on the outer corner of this eye, I have this dark blue vein. So I'm going to show you both eyes. So the first way is I'm going to grab my highlight shade and just take a little flat brush like this. And instead of doing this big V like uh, everyone shows you on YouTube these days, what you're going to do is just dot a little bit right in the corner, right there. And then you're going to take it about, just about to the edge of your eye and sweep out like that. And that is where you're going to, you're not going to place any concealer right under here. And then just take a little buffing brush. and kind of dot that in. You're not going to do a lot of like swiping and dragging, but just kind of pat that in. And then whatever's left on your brush, you can kind of gently go under the eye and then sweep out like that. And that's going to brighten up under my eye compared to this one without having a ton of product sitting right here on that skin that's more textured where it can get into all these little fine lines and wrinkles. So throughout the day, it's going to be brighter, but it's not going to pool there. All right, so then on the other eye, um, the other option you have is to color correct. So this is a little peach type color corrector. If you know color theory at all, um, on the color wheel, um, like the oranges and yellows cancel out their cross from the blues and purples. So I'm just gonna take a fine little brush like this and barely tap it in to my color corrector and then gently just kind of go over that area and anywhere that I have a little bit of that darkness, just ever so lightly. Okay, and then you're gonna take your little buffing brush and kind of just blot that in gently. And then I have a little bit of redness right along my lash line. So I'm going to take a greenish color corrector and do that same thing right along the lash line there. And then take a little brush and just kind of buff that out. And that cancels out that red. Now you can stop there because then once you have your um, eyeshadows going on, sometimes I'll buff some right along the bottom of the lash line so that kind of blends in and cleans up any of that green that's left over there. Or if you're not going to do anything under the lash line, you can just take a tiny bit of that highlight shade and dot it underneath there. And tap that in. So these are going to give you a brightened under eye. It canceled out all that color um, without going crazy and heavy under the eyes. So I will finish up my uh, mascara and be right back and show you what it looks like all done. All right, here it is with my mascara on. I just did a very light wash of color in the crease and along the lash line, but you can see how nice and bright my under eyes are. It still brightens that area, but it's not going to enhance the texture down there. There's not a lot of um, product 
to gather in all of these fine lines and wrinkles. So as my face moves throughout the day and product tends to gather in those places, it's a nice light coverage under there, but you're still getting a brightening effect. So that is a helpful trick to uh, doing your concealer for aging mature skin um, so that you're not enhancing your texture, but you're doing yourself a favor with your makeup instead. So I hope that was helpful. See you later.